target as well as her castle and if you look closely we'll see her three brothers does anybody remember why they turned into bears just post down below and let me know on the back it'll show you more in detail what we have our little accessories that we'll be going over looks like a barbecue and fish what bear does not like fish Merida's favorite pastime her archery and it looks like a catapult for her brothers to launch some cookies. Um, Merida has her castle, and to get in, she'll be hiding a secret key. So we'll be looking into that, where she can open the door. So let's take a look inside and see what we have. Okay, guys, let's go. So of course with any Lego box we have a set of instructions and it seems like every princess set comes with some stickers. We have instructions number one which we'll be using later and we have instructions number two. We have a bag labeled one. Big nice piece of lawn. bag number two. Anything else? Nope, that is it. So let's get started guys and see what we can build for Merida. Based on the instructions, if you take a look here, it tells us to start with bag number two and we'll be building Merida's castle. So I already have her lawn ready. I have bag two ready and let's get started. Okay, let's take a closer look. Of course, we're going to talk about this more later when we have everything built. But this right here is Merida's castle. Um, as you can see, we hit a secret key back there. This is the door for her to get into the castle. And they have their sigil, or sigil, there. And then on the inside, Merida can sit and eat a nice turkey leg because you do know that in medieval days turkey legs and chicken legs were what they would eat. We have two potions and a very nice torch lamp so that they can see at nighttime because they had no electricity. So let's get on to bag number two, instruction set number two. We'll put this off to the side and then we can finish Merida's Highland Adventure. Okay guys, we finished building Merida's Highland Games, so let's take a closer look and we'll start with Merida herself, of course. So Merida has her trademark curls and red hair, why I have 
fiery pink and orange nail polish today and is wearing a Scottish dress. Next to her we have her three brothers that were turned into bears and of course they're up to no good and they are catapulting some mini cookies. Now the instructions do say do not catapult at anybody you know. These are little choking hazards for ages three and down. So be aware. You guys ready? Okay, let's go for a catapult. Maybe we should pull right here. So if my finger wasn't in the way, and we can try it one more time, I'm sure the cookies would have gone much farther. Let's try that one more time. That was pretty good. So, so far we have Merida, her three brothers, and a catapult. Now, let's take a closer look at her castle. So, they need to get into the castle, but don't want to be seen. So, does anybody know where we hid the secret key? Let's have one of her brothers show you. Right back there. It's hidden behind the bushes and you can move it. Take the key. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's open the door. And let's go inside. So inside Merida's castle, there is a place for her to eat her nice chicken and turkey leg we mentioned earlier, and the three potions. So Merida has access to the castle with a secret key. So let's flip that back over. We'll close the door and we'll hide the key again. That way they can get back in when they want to. Now Merida probably wants to show us the rest of the castle and as you know she's known for her archery skills. Yes, yes I am. So let's have her go and show us her favorite place in the castle. Come on guys. So, my mother always told me that a princess enjoys elegant pursuits. But me, as you know, I am Merida the Brave. I really like archery. So this right here is where I like to play archery every day. Whoops. And this is my tree where I hang out. I take a seat here under the tree, listen to the wind, and when I'm ready, I'll take my bow and shoot right at the middle of the target. Because as everybody knows, I am Merida and I'll be shooting for my own hand. I hit the middle of the target every time. But after a long day of archery, I like to put my bow back up and hide it in my tree so that my father can't see it and I can keep practicing. And I'll go with my brothers and have some fish. You see, I live in Scotland and I live in the country and we have these beautiful rivers where we can catch our fish daily. So I'm going to make some trout. I really hope you enjoyed my castle video.